Let's do this. We've had a little prep talk for emergencies, uh, what to do uh, for safety if anything goes wrong. So we've just done all that off camera and uh, now we're going to enter the first stage. Hello to you all and welcome back. This is the season one highlight episode number two. And very shortly we'll jump straight back into it with the Niagara Falls ride. Just want to let you know though, for all episodes, you can just click on the My Sea Do Life Adventures playlist and all the videos are there for all the rides I've done in their entirety. Uh, what I'm doing in this highlights video is just showing you some of the highlights of each trip I did and maybe some of, uh, some of the footage you haven't seen. So we're going to jump straight into it right now with the Niagara Falls Rapids ride, which was probably the most stupidest and most dangerous ride I ever, ever, ever done. So anyway, sit back, relax and enjoy the highlights. I'm a little nervous. 130 feet deep. 150 feet. Oh my god, the saw will pull. That was scary. Oh my god. He's gone that way. Oh Jesus. That is scary as fuck. Buddy. Uh, I don't like this anymore. <laughs> After nearly soiling my pants, we decided it was time for a spot of lunch. So we uh, pulled over by the side of the river in a nice calmer spot, uh, moored up the uh, sea dews, had a little bite to eat, and then we had a little discussion and uh, decided where to go next. And uh, the next adventure was going to be somewhere a little bit quieter and a bit more relaxed. Alright, here we are. This is my first time up north with the sea dunes. actually probably my second time I've ever actually been north so today we're launched from Parry Sound and with Mark who's just gone ahead we'll chat with him later and uh, he's taking me out and about around here today show me a few of the sights this was probably one of my favorite rides I uh, loved it this is only the second time I've ever been north in my whole life and my first time north on the sea dune this is Parry Sound we did uh, two videos up here and uh, here are the highlights all right, check it out. Look what I found. A lighthouse. <laughs> Looks like a helipad on top of that. I presume it's a helipad. You can see where it gets its name from, right? The rock it's on, red rock. Makes sense, right? Clear it is. I 
thoroughly enjoyed this part of the ride where I was following Mark uh, from Forest Sound for these little channels and just weaving in and out at a good speed. It was a really, really, really fun ride. Look at that. Snake. He's trying to get up on the rock. Caused them some <laughs> yeah, we just pissed the snake off. Oh my god, a po so we, have, we do have poisonous snakes here. Yeah, that guy will cause you some big problems. All right, I'm not going in the water. Well, what started off as a water snake, and ah, it's just a water snake, turns out to be a Mississauga rattler. Yep. Massasauga, Mississauga. Anyway, it's like a rattlesnake basically, and it is poisonous. All right, this adventure is going to end on a bum note. It doesn't open until 4.30. So, it's into my cooler. And I got a piece of cake and some pepperettes. And I had my bagel earlier. So, uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed uh, this little tour around uh, this part of Parry Sound. Uh, the Parry Sound video was done in two parts. The first bit was going around the islands and checking out, going out to Georgian Bay a little bit. The second part was going towards Moon River. And this really was a beautiful spot. Check this out. Well, that really was worth the ride. Look at that. Out. We'll go a bit closer to this one. This is what adventure is all about. It was worth the four hour drive to get here, it really was. Uh, when Mark called me a couple of days ago and said, Hey, what are you doing? Uh, how much? I'll meet me here. Glad I did. Worth the drive and worth the ride on the jet ski all the way down here as well. It's been a fantastic day. Checking out the whole these, uh, Georgian Bay area, these little islands everywhere. And to end at this point is really, really nice. Uh, sadly, this video wasn't very popular when it comes to views on YouTube. However, this was one of my favorite videos. This is Toronto and joining me on this particular trip is Woody. And the good thing about Woody, he's English like me. So uh, we both have GTXs, we're both English and we're both exploring Toronto's waterfront. Uh, this is us um, get going into the old Ontario place. We're gonna skip most of this and we'll just show you the highlights of downtown Toronto and the island. Now the good thing about having a sea do and having a permit to be on the water here, you get to go and check places out like this. That up a little bit. Hey, look at this boat from Thunder Bay. Empire Sandy, that is a nice tall ship. I like that. See, we live in a city. Oops. We live in a city. Yeah, come down to a beautiful waterfront like this. Enjoy the sun and look at the beautiful view of a sailing boat and a few other boats and a few other jet skis. Uh, Rogers Center over there, the old Sky Dome. I just turned around and saw this. What a view of the city that is. That is a cracking shot of CN Tower.
got a bag of Cheerios. I don't know what flavour they are. They're sweet, a bit stale as well. So, gonna feed my friends, the ducks. Here come the geese. I want some Cheerios, some flavoured Cheerios. There you go. Whole grain. Come on, mate. Feeding geese off a sea How cool is this? There we go. All right, we just, uh, technically we haven't moored up, but we just pulled over here on Toronto Island. Unfortunately, signs everywhere that you can't anchor, you can't moor, you can't do this unless you have a permit, and we don't have a permit. Duck. I really don't want to try my IDF just yet, but uh, we have got lots of uh, weed here. So, oh, straight in the middle, we should be fine. This will bring us out apparently to a place called Snake Island, on the outside of Snake Island. I just used the IDF for the first time and we didn't video it. We sucked up a load of weeds and um, my ski still works. <laughs> we should have videoed it. As we departed the island and came back out into the harbour area, it was a beautiful sight just seeing the city skyline the way it is. And I don't think this particular footage actually made it into the original cut. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but anyway, here you are. This is the skyline of uh, Toronto City. Beautiful, eh? Eh? Check it out! It's nice when a lake next to a massive ship. Look at this! See the uh, the bow, the nose sticking out. All right, I've stopped. Look at it go. That's going at some speed. Yeah, that's definitely Hamlin's point. I can see a few bums from here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start heading back to where uh, we launched from. So it's goodbye Toronto from this side, and I'm sure I'll be back to explore again. Maybe on a warmer day, but. Uh, it's a great city to look at from the water. So anyway, we're gonna go way, way back down there somewhere and the winds are still blowing. There's gonna be a lot of footage I've had to edit out of this because the wind's just been so bad today. Uh, but overall, it's been fantastic. So uh, we're gonna head on back and uh, see you down there. enjoyed it please make sure you like and subscribe for more content by liking the video it just helps with the algorithms and points people more in my direction for these videos so once again my name is nigel the channel was nigel's cheap vlogs and this has been my cd life my cd life adventure episode god knows what and a big thanks to woody for coming out on the ride today really enjoyed it another adventure we just left the marina i shut the bluetooth off so the music shuts up and uh we're going to check out um long point this is the long point and port dover ride with my good friend wayne uh, he's riding my sea do and i'm riding gtx 300 limited which we're actually doing a review of uh, so during our ride to long point and port dover we actually stopped quite a few times to do some uh, video work of the sea do and get some great shots which i'll, I'll add in here which had never been seen before so uh uh, as, as part of the highlights of the actual ride to Long Point Port Dover, I'll put in some of the uh, behind the scenes of how we made those video shots for reviewing the uh, GTX 300.
we go. Not too fast though, not too fast. There we go, there we go, you got it? It may have looked funny I was just driving around like that, but uh, this is the end result of uh, what I captured. Alright, back to the ride itself, let's go to Long Point. There's not much to see around here. It's quite disappointing really. It's, uh, it's a row of trees, pretty flat. It goes way out over there. So we'll keep going until we find something worth looking at. <laughs> oh, he's getting cocky now. Just stop for the usual uh, break. Today's tea break. I'm not having a coffee today because I'm with Wayne. And drink, Wayne doesn't drink uh, coffee, so I brought tea today. So we're having tea. Where's the biscuit? Off. Oh, and I forgot the biscuits. I, that's the only thing that's missing. Hey, you got a granola bar in your cooler. <laughs> Made it to the lighthouse. Yep, that's a lighthouse right there. Okay, what we're going to do right now is just fast forward. We're going to get back on the Sea News and head across Lake Erie over to Port Dover, which is about a 30 kilometer ride. I think we're going to head way down there. Really was a great fun day out. Uh, managed to make it to Port Dover and we had a spot to eat at Willie's. Well, I went and got the stuff and now uh, we ate the uh, food on our sea dues before continuing the adventure uh, along the, the coastline of Lake Erie uh, from Port Dover down to where we started from. So we just hopped over there, a couple of places, a couple of diners to get some food from, a uh, spot of lunch, and then we'll head back, the head, back, uh, head back on the water again. What an amazing place. Need to find out whether it's something, it's a resort or is it just someone's house? That's amazing. Oh, young girl getting on the jet ski over here. All right, this we believe is a uh, Turkey Point. on and 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 on yeah shows your legs there you go all right this is the next day we didn't actually make a proper video on this particular day because i've been here so many times now but wayne came with me again today and the idea was to just get some more footage of the video a video of me riding the gtx 300 limited for the review video you can see playing right now and uh, had a lot of fun and after we made this uh, video we had a bit more of a ride round and uh, we ended up uh, at Erie Beach I think it was uh, where we uh, took a bit of a plunge cooled off and the funniest bit was trying to watch Wayne get back on the sea do enjoy <laughs> man overboard try that again <laughs> man overboard <laughs> 
<laughs> How not to get into a jet ski, a sea do. <laughs> okay, <I'm looking> <laughs> okay, now we'll demonstrate the correct way of getting back on the sea do. <laughs> Pull the step down. <laughs> Pull yourself up. Grab the seat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, try not to laugh when you're doing this because you won't be able to pull yourself up. Okay, and now it looks like he's humping it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That'll go in the outtakes. The bloopers. Gee. Speaking of bloopers, oh. whistles. You get the sound system, uh, you get a nice new look. Uh, you get a different in oh sorry, cut that. <laughs> Is it recorded? <laughs> <You know? laughs> All right, uh, this one's been uh, has had it actually had the uh, addition this addition. It's hot out here today. I expect it to be like 32, 33 degrees. Very high humidity. A lot of haze already out here due to the humidity. Unfortunately, Woody's just found out his battery's dead on his GoPro. He's come all this way, he's gonna get no footage, so he's gonna have to share mine. But anyway, he's just playing around with it still. Today, we're gonna head out to uh, Point Abano Lighthouse, which is just ahead. We're gonna go right past that, and I'm gonna take you to Shirkston Shores first, where there's a great shipwreck right there. Alright, this is the uh, shipwreck here at Shirkston. Uh, known as uh, Steel Product, that's what it's his last registered name anyway, uh, but it also was known as Venus. Uh, it became shipwrecked out here, uh, I believe uh, October 1961. Uh, it was being towed to be scrapped, and uh, whilst being towed, it broke loose and became stranded here in the shallow waters of Lake Erie, here at uh, Shirkston. And it's been here ever since, since 1961. And it's great to ride through, it's so shy you can see. And I'm actually sitting right on top of it right now still. So I'm gonna put a camera down there and see what we can see. All right, this is what we're gonna to use to put the GoPro down there. Get it down about five feet. This was a horrendous video edit. It really was from start to finish. And the footage you're seeing right now under the water, I cheated. I filmed this two weeks later because the original footage, the camera was actually pointing up too much. So I didn't really get much uh, video uh, video while I was down there. So I had to go back and cheat on the next calm day, which was two or three weeks later. And then the video I'm using right now is the uh, GoPro 8. And for some reason, the settings had changed from the last time I was out videoing. And the file, it was, it was jerky, it was horrible, and it was a pain in the backside to edit. It really was. Two English guys riding the Great Lakes. Rule Britannia! Been here a couple of times already and I've already marked it out so I've got a nice little uh, path to the lighthouse that not many people have figured out they can do which is good really. And there. And there. You just gotta know where they are, you go right past them all. You went some beach. Just try and jump in now, you'll be all right. Yeah, you're going more of the shallow end. There you go. I'm just walking over here. This is where I did the video in all my uh, those reviews. Yeah. I just tie onto that, and there's a couple of bars sticking out here, hook it to that. Or we just film around here, because the water's perfect for it right now. Oh, I love it. Shit, dude. Sorry. Sorry man. That's what the plastic's for. Um, magnets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I, I was like, that looked really cool <laughs> the color really shines in this water oh my god it looks epic the land behind me is the abino association own that or maintain it and it's private land uh, so you can't stand on the beach there because it is private that's the old lighthouse keeper's house there but all that is private land but as long as you're in the water uh, you're fine and if you stand on the lighthouse technically you're on Fort Erie property because they own it so uh, yeah it's nice. Usually, the only way you can get out here is via kayak. Um, yeah, kayak is the closest way, or if you're smart enough and have a, a depth finder, you can use a, a sea do. Just uh, over my shoulder, just where Woody is, that is uh, Old Fort Erie, uh, which was famous for the old battleground of the uh, War of 1812, uh, where the uh, 
back then it would have been uh, the British loyalists, which we now know as uh, Canadian troops, uh, would have took on uh, Americans and they fought between the river here. And then later on, 50 years later, they have the Fenian raids where the Irish Republic, a bunch of renegades would have come over and they raided uh, Fort Erie along here, further down the shore and into Ridgeway, had the Battle of Ridgeway back then, which technically enlisted in the history books is the very first IRA attack. got a sea do and you ever come down to the Lake Erie area and you want someone to take you out down the Niagara River give me a shout just send me a text message uh, send me a message via YouTube or my Facebook channel and I'll meet up with you and uh, help you down there it's it's, it's a little nerve-wracking for the first time you do it and it's always safe to go with someone else anyway so uh, yeah feel free to give me a shout anytime you want anyway that is about it for this particular wrap-up of the highlights um, part three will be coming up very very soon